been a great year for pumpkins in the allotment this year guys We've got some absolute crackers so if you stick with us to the end of the video i'm going to show you exactly how i did it So I'm starting this sowing on the 15th of April, you can go a little bit earlier at the start of April and sow indoors on a windowsill or on top of a radiator, but it's fine in the greenhouse at this time of year. So I'm starting off in a couple of pods here and it's just normal multi-purpose compost and I'm making two holes and I'm sowing two seeds in each container. Now because these seeds are quite big, if you pop them on the side, then that means when you go to water them the water doesn't sit on top and um, lead to rotten. So you want to sow about an inch deep and then cover with compost and give it a water. And if you keep it moist, because um, as you'll probably hear in this video, uh, pumpkins are really heavy feeders, so keep it well moist. And after about four to five weeks, get rid of the um, smaller plant and it'll be ready to plant out. So when you're ready to plant out, um, it's best to dig a hole and pop some uh, organic matter in, so that's uh, manure or compost. Now I know this uh, patch of land is um, being particularly well composted, um, I think I put some manure in um, a couple of months prior to this video, so I know it's got lots of good organic matter in there. And I'm putting this pipe in there um, for watering, so the idea is uh, the water goes in the pipe there and it doesn't spread out, so all of the water that you're putting in collects right where you want it, at the base of the root so there'll be no wastage and it can get right down to the roots there. So then all you have to do is cover that over, firm it in and we're going to put a good couple of inches of mulch uh, around the plant so that's again compost or manure and um, that just acts as a bit of a slow release fertiliser and keeps the moisture in there as well so on the hot days it doesn't um, evaporate and uh, you don't lose anything. So water on the pumpkins is really easy, so they get two to three um, full cans of water every week, obviously weather dependent, and uh, this method here I've just got a little ditch around the plant there just so the water collects in there and it doesn't seep out again, and this is no better or worse than the, uh, the, uh, the pipe method, so I did both in the allotment this year with um, good results there. And to get the, the leaves nice and green I used um, a liquid seaweed feed once a week, so um, that's two watering cans uh, per week and one seaweed feed per week so they're getting two to three uh, weather dependent obviously um, drinks per week. So it's the middle of July, uh, this pumpkin's uh, plant's been in the ground now for about two months uh, and there's a couple of little um, things I've done so I'm going to take you through those now. So when the pumpkin plant starts to grow they'll um, start to uh, produce male and female flowers so the, the male flowers won't have anything behind the, the flower. Leave them alone, uh, that's for the bees to, to pollinate. Uh, the female flowers will have uh, a small little pumpkin behind it. So if you want to grow a big one, so we're talking about the general sort of Halloween shop bought style pumpkins. Uh, if you want to grow the biggest one you can or the biggest one that the seed will allow, wait till uh, the, the pumpkins are around, well one of them is around the tennis ball size, the rest of them uh, you can just snap off with your finger whenever you see one. You can let nature take its course and you can just let it run and let everything grow and then you, you'll get probably three, three or four pumpkins uh, of small to medium size. And you want to be giving them a feed once a week as well, so I'm, uh, I was feeding them with uh, liquid seaweed. Yeah, I still am actually, but uh, definitely start at the beginning with liquid seaweed. So I did that once a week, watered twice a week, and I pretty much give it a full watering can uh, per plant. That's anywhere between sort of five to ten litres. And when the pumpkins start to form, you want to switch to a, a potassium based uh, feed uh, so you can get the, the little boxes of uh, potassium uh, in Wilkinson's. So that will stimulate the fruit and uh, cause the fruit to grow bigger without adding too much leaf and green on it because it's a nitrogen with the green and you want to encourage that at the beginning. Uh, but as soon as the pumpkins start to form you want to switch to a potassium based fertiliser and that concentrates on the, uh, the fruit. When the pumpkin starts to uh, grow a little bit bigger, maybe the size of a small sort of football, you want to put a little bit of wood underneath so that way the, the pumpkin isn't sat on the soil. So when it rains, when the soil gets wet, it's uh, less chance of rotten. 
So it's that time of year again, my favourite time of the year, especially in the allotment. So we're getting close to Halloween now. This is um, the 18th of October. Um, and as you can see, and behind us here, uh, we've done really well with the pumpkins. So I've got another three, five up there, and I'll show you those. Uh, but yeah, um, absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's one of the best things to grow, especially if you've got kids. It's really enjoyable and you can obviously pick them and carve them for Halloween. So if you've made it this far, a massive thank you. And if you stay with us for just a little bit longer, I'll tell you how to cut it properly uh, from the vine. So obviously you can see the stalk here now. Um, they won't all be the same length. Some will be quite a bit smaller. Some might be even a bit longer. But if you can, you want to get at least an inch. You can go as long as you want, but try and get at least an inch there. So there we are guys, uh, it's been a great year as you can see for pumpkins here in the allotment. Um, if you've got this far, huge thanks, uh, it's taken quite a bit of effort to, in editing and stuff to film this, so uh, if you've got this far, if you can give it a thumbs up, that would be absolutely fantastic, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.